Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today in front of us are two perfectly sealed bags of eight minifigures, each completing the 16 total unique figs from series 19. That's right, we're doing a complete collection review of all 16 of the series 19 minifigures. And before we get into the review, um, I am going to say thank you so much to Minifigure Madness. These are the guys that sent over the complete collection to us. Currently, they are offering uh, series 19 boxes, new and sealed. And right now there is an offer up on the screen. Uh, that price is a best price guarantee and uh, it's only valid uh, right now with the promo code BRICKVAULT and uh, while supplies last, obviously. So thanks a lot, Connor at Minifigure Madness for the, uh, for the figs here. I'm going to open up each bag and do a basic kind of maybe time lapse and just a few little comments of uh, whatever I kind of notice right off the top of my head. And then after that, I'll get this bad boy in here and we can do a much closer rotation shot of seeing all the close details of each of the characters. But anyways, that's minifiguremadness.com. Uh, promo code BRICKVAULT. Uh, link is in the description below, so you can click that there. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Initial impressions are that the bear costume guy is a little bit more colorful than I imagined from the pictures. But uh, yeah, about as close as you are gonna get to a Care Bear. Wasn't expecting the silver reflective classic space print that goes on his shirt. Excellent touch. This guy looks really awesome and I have a feeling he's going to be one of the more sought after figs. Very, very cool. So far, this is my favorite expression that I've seen on any of the figs. We'll see if it's my favorite at the end. Possibly the most colorful character in the whole bunch, even more so than the Care Bear, the gardener. Very interesting looking thing. Really excellent sweatshirt detailing for the legs. I don't know if Lego's done this detailing quite like that before. Looks super good. I was looking forward to Fright Night, probably the most out of any figure, uh, and my suspicions uh, have been correct. There's even chainmail printing on the underside. So cool. Extra sword, the whole deal. Awesome. Wow, maybe more pieces came with the Monkey King than maybe any other figure. He's also pretty tall because he has the little bit on the torso for the tail piece and the armor, so he's actually kind of a tall fig. Very cool. Who still uses a shower cap? Really like that Band-Aid print on the elbow. Might be my favorite, definitely in the top two. Chameleon printing is amazing. Johnny Thunder update or Jungle Explorer looks really, really cool. I feel like we could have gotten a figure very similar to this just in a regular firefighter set. I do appreciate the extra printing on the arms and the printing that goes around the legs. That's nice. Not bad. Excellent hidden expression underneath the helmet. I really like that. Is this how you're supposed to pick up poop? Might be competing for best expression on a minifig. We'll see. Excellent pants. Excellent pants awesome alternate expression. You guys will see that in a minute. All right, let's get into the reviews. So the first guy up is the video game champ. Uh, he's probably one of the most unique and sought after from the collection. I really like this silver detailing. That's the classic space logo. You can also see Mtron, and I think that's 
what, the Triforce from Zelda? I, I think that's what his, his shirt is. He also has some nice little cufflinks, which is nice. Uh, different symbols on both sides of the cufflinks. And then he's got this amazing piece that looks closest, I think, to a PS4 controller, though a lot of controllers nowadays look pretty similar. And you can see he, he's got a game. Very cool print there. Uh, space game for the play box. Yeah, it looks more like PlayStation logoing if you ask me. Uh, really, really nice hair piece. It's a green hair piece. People are saying it's like the Jacksepticeye fig or ninja or something like that. But he's got a goatee. That's when he's not doing very good on his games when he's live streaming. And uh, that's when he's doing pretty good. Solid dude, solid pieces, solid prints. Uh, very, very good looking fig all around. And then let's move on over to the shower guy. Uh, much simpler, as you can see, some basic detailing. You can see the shoulder blades, uh, his chest, a belly button. That's about it. There he is. He looks a bit embarrassed with this expression, which I kind of like. And then that's him just being a happy old shower guy. Nothing much more to look into there. So great. Shower cap mold is very, very cool. It's actually pretty darn detail, uh, detailed mold. And then the towel piece is awesome. That's normally used as like, or at least it was used as a skirt. I don't know how common that piece is anymore, but it looks better as a towel because it's not such an elegant looking piece when it's on a fig. Uh, looks pretty loose, like it's actually wrapped around him. Great rubber ducky, and we're moving on to Fright Night. Uh, probably the best name. Best name that we're going to have for a figure. Let me just point out right now, you get an extra one of these trans blue uh, classic swords, which is great, so that's awesome. Fright Night has a pretty freaky looking ghost-like expression, just the single expression. And then I also want to do this, and that is show you the extra print detailing for the chest. Look at the chainmail. This is actually how a knight's armor really would be set up. Um, and you just don't see this very often with characters. There's chainmail underneath the, uh, the actual breastplate. So I love that they actually did that with Fright Knight. Awesome detailing showing a bat insignia. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe it's a knight for Dracula. You don't really know. Looks really, really cool though. And then we're moving on over to the Monkey King. The Monkey King is actually a little bit of a taller figure. I gotta zoom out ever so slightly just to, just to make it so you can see the, the figure in his entirety. Really, really nice looking detailing here. There are some very specific things that I think uh, you should pay attention to. Like the, the monkey tail here is done in that nice sort of nougaty color, but they actually printed the front of it as gold so it matched up with the rest of his armor. So that's a really nice subtle detail that really completes the look of this guy a little bit more. Um, great looking prints for the front of him. And I've really got to actually show you guys. Let me take some stuff off and show you. All right, this is the monkey without any of his other uh, accessories attached to him. And you can really see the full print for his body. Such an excellent looking fig. Great looking expressions. He looks a little bit curious or pensive with the other one with the single tooth sticking out. It's a great looking look just for the guy in general. Awesome fig. This might be one of my favorites from the collection. I'll do a top three at the end. And then now we're moving on to the programmer. Uh, I know I pointed this out during the news video, but you can see the binary code on her shirt. I looked up the binary code for the letter L. Guess what? You can probably guess what this four letter word is on her shirt. I think that's a fun uh, little nod to those that might know binary or know more about the coding world. But the, the main thing that I really like about this figure, if I zoom in just a little bit more, is this print right here. You can actually see it's a dual molded red leg, but then they printed gray all the way across on the sides in front. You can see a little bit of that red still on the inside of the leg, but what that does is it makes a perfectly seamless uh, flannel shirt uh, that wraps around, that ties around the front. This is something that I feel like you saw as more of like a 90s style. Who knows, maybe people still do this, but I haven't really seen it for quite a long time. She's got this kind of interesting updo, great looking mold for the hair. And also you can see she's holding a white computer and a programmed little robot kitty type thing that I'm sure she programmed herself. This is her alternate expression. Very good, like the green glasses. Definitely a very unique figure and there's actually a lot to her as a character instead of just a person with a t-shirt and a sweatshirt, which 
uh, might feel less complicated than the mummy, but not necessarily so. Anyways, this is the Queen Mummy. Look at this figure. I know a lot of people weren't super stoked about getting another mummy. We've gotten several mummy figs in the past, but they did new stuff with her. I like the, uh, the turquoise or the dark teal highlights for this character, especially the head mold piece. And I was a little bit curious because, you know, I was like, if she's a mummy and she looks tattered, wouldn't she have a mummy face? Yes. Yeah, she does have a really classic mummy face. Uh, this is this is good. So this is kind of the ceremonial burial mask, which is prettier for sure. But this is actually what the mummy would look like underneath. So that's great. Dual molded legs once again. And there's also side printing around similar to how they did uh, the jacket, actually, in a lot of ways. Um, similar approach, and I like this. It makes the figures feel a lot more complete when spinning them around in full 360. Awesome looking mold, awesome looking figure. Probably not one of my favorites. We have gotten a lot of mummies, but I do think they uh, they cared about the way this one looked quite a lot. Now we are at uh, probably my favorite. I said top three, this might actually be my favorite. I love Explorer figures. I was super excited for the backpack figure that we got one or two series ago. And then this is the extension, which is basically updated Johnny Thunder. So this looks just like Johnny Thunder. Uh, let me actually take his accessories off so you can see his full prints. Now here he is a little bit less obstructed. Uh, you can see some rope detailing that goes around the back, a little bit of detailing for a belt as well. Dual molded legs with prints for sort of like steel-toed boots or hard-toed boots there in the front. And there's his single expression, really cool looking. And now here he is complete once again. Excellent, excellent printing that makes up the chameleon on the side. That really is how chameleon skin uh, looks if you look at it up close, which is awesome. Great mold for a backpack. He's got a uh, magnifying glass, really good looking fig. I love the explorers. He'd be su super fun to kind of pose around in outside uh, scenes and scenarios and take pictures with. So anyways, really, really cool. Love that he looks like Johnny Thunder. And now we're moving on to the firefighter. Not a bad fig all around though. Um, it doesn't feel like a collectible fig. Like this cool hair firefighter hat mold is awesome. I just kind of wish it came in regular firefighter city sets. I don't see any reason why it can't. This is a nice little accessory though. Um, it doesn't feel super special either. It also feels like something that would be cool if it actually came out in just a regular Lego city set. I do appreciate that you get uh, leg printing, which you wouldn't normally for a city set. It comes on the side of the leg, which is nice. And you get prints uh, right up, right around by the, the hands and stuff. That's nice. In general, this also feels just a little bit more complete, just a little bit more detailed. So all of those are good. And then she has a really good secondary expression as well, which is her kind of calling out. That would be like her shouting into the megaphone. And that actually looks pretty good. I like the more assertive uh, expression included. She is a firefighter after all. So, any whoosums. That's nice. That's, it's not a bad fig, but uh, certainly feels a little bit out of place as a collectible. Moving on. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to always have the dogs that are holding the poop. Um, Great looking swirl mold piece for the poop. That is actually a pretty good one. Awesome mold for the for the baseball cap with the ponytail that sticks through the back. Uh, the little paw print there at the top. She's got overalls and white shoes. The whole deal looks really, really good uh, with the striped shirt and everything. Really good looking fig all around, but it wouldn't be complete by not showing the two different dog molds that come with her. So she's got a wiener dog. It's four studs long. It's a pretty long dog. They really, they really went ahead with uh, showing off that. And then you get a French Bulldog, would be my guess. Great look at Prince. Love both of these molds. Uh, I really want to get a Corgi. I really want to get a Corgi from these guys one day. Please, Lego, make a Corgi. Okay, let's move on. Pizza costume guy. There are three different costume guys and gals, I suppose, uh, in, this, in this series. And this is the first one. We get a hot dog guy. Now we got a pizza guy. Looks really good. I suppose we should get a hamburger guy after this. Excellent print for the checkerboard uh, pants. That is just super out of this world. Uh, there's no print on the rest of his body there. That's just a regular one. Oh, wait a second. He doesn't have a print on the back of his head. Let me just 
move this over. Does she have an alternate expression? Oh, yes. I almost missed that. There it is. Guess what she smells? I don't know. You tell me. That's awesome. That might be, I don't know. I put her expression at one of the top three for sure. Okay, I can't believe I almost missed that. Anyways, great print for some pizza advertising. One dollar a slice. Come on, where are we? I think, I, I think New York still does that. Uh, really excellent mold though that goes all the way around his body. Very, very good looking. I like this guy a lot. And then this is gonna be a really popular one though. I can't say I'm super impressed all around. Let me turn the light up a little bit. All right, we've got the intergalactic bounty hunter or I think just galactic bounty hunter. I love the wanted poster. You can see it's 300,000 something credits. Uh, wanted, yeah, Bully of Broken, okay. So interesting, so it looks like this bounty hunter is going after bad people, though this bounty hunter looks pretty, pretty bad herself, himself. I can't really tell if it's supposed to be a male or female face, but what I can tell is that it's very rambunctious, right? This almost looks like a criminal expression on your own. So not bad printing for the front. Also the back of the head has some nice mechanical detailing as well. Uh, pretty good looking though. It just doesn't feel that impressive. Probably the best part about this bounty hunter is maybe the helmet mold, the exclusive helmet mold. I think exclusive. Reminds me a little bit of the robot Chappie. Uh, didn't really like that movie that much, but it does kind of look like the Chappie head or it reminds me uh, in the moment. So anyways, not bad but uh, not on my top three, I don't think, for favorites. Let's turn the light back down a little bit. The Gardener. This was somebody that really popped out to me when I first saw the exclusive, <laughs> when I first saw the exclusive uh, figures here. So she does have a plant in her hand and she does have gl gloves on, gardening gloves. So that is, I suppose, a bit of a giveaway. And this feels like somebody you would have seen maybe from like the 60s or 70s. Uh, and I suppose Ramon, Ramon says that this is still a thing. He still sees these on people's lawns, those lawn flamingos. I don't know why, they're just kind of like a popular ornament for, for gardens in the front. I haven't seen one in a long time, but she's got at least one and, uh, or she comes with just one, but usually you see multiple of these lined up in front of somebody's house. Just the single expression, love the hairpiece. Really, really big hair. That's what also makes this feel so dated. And uh, awesome leopard print for, I mean, just the whole thing. It doesn't really match up well. She just kind of looks like totally out there with her colors. But a uh, really interesting character. I like these prints a lot. Now, next up is the rugby player. Uh, somebody let me know. Actually, I think somebody did let me know in the comments last time uh, what colors this resembled most for a certain team. And I totally forgot what that was. Anyways, it says rugby. Uh, I really like this mold because it doesn't have to be precise enough uh, to be a football mold or a, or a rugby football mold. They're slightly different, like American football and, and the rugby ball. So I would like to see this in brown someday with like the little stitches that go along uh, the other side for an American football player. That would be cool. Other than that, he feels like he could, like he should. Uh, you know, he's got some nice dual molded arms, some good printing on the legs. It's all pretty basic though, nothing that looks super impressive. And the main thing that I like is this beat up expression. I think this is technically his alternate, but I liked it so much more than his regular one. So I'm just going to give him the, the messed up beat up rugby face um, because that just looks cooler, right? Okay, not bad, but nothing that really wows me in terms of a collectible figure. And the same can be said for this Fox Costume Girl, I think is the official name, the official name of this figure. I turn that up a little bit, you can see a little better. She's got a chicken and a bag and a really, really good expression. Also, look at that. She's she's really committing to the character here, right? You know, it's like it's like more than just more than just dressing up like a fox. She's looking very cunning, right? Uh, this is so good though, it's such a weird one. You can tell it's a female expression, which is kind of interesting, but she looks mischievous and she's like licking her lips. It's just such a weird one, which is fun. And then this is also kind of a cute, quirky, different one as well. So really, really good expressions for this character. And other than that, you know, it's like fine for a fox head mold and all that, and it's fun. And people like specifically like collecting the costume characters. So here you go, add one to the list and the same can be said for the bear. 
And the bear one is a little bit cutesy for the expression. It's not as big of a fan, but really, really colorful. This is that semi-new color that we get. It's kind of halfway between orange and pink. There is a little heart piece there. You actually get an extra one in that color from this set. And then the prints are pretty basic. So actually, I don't even need to take anything out of the hand so you can see the full print. It's just that basic rainbow with the heart. It looks like a child's face, but it is like a full grown figure, which is kind of weirding me out because doesn't it look like that face would belong to like a smaller, like short legged minifigure? It doesn't, but it, it feels like it would, right? So it's kind of two cutesy child's faces, uh, but it kind of weirds me out that it's on a taller fig. Anyways, interesting, not my favorite, boom. Really cool. I didn't think I was going to like the mountain biker girl as much as I do, but I do. Look at that. She's got like a cool kind of tread mark on her back. I think it's part of the, you know, it's part of the logo of the of the sportswear she's wearing. She didn't get run over by, you know, a car with white paint on its wheel or something. Great looking knee pads though. You can see it's dual molded legs with a bit of black and silver or black and gray really uh, for the knee pads there dual molded arms. Everything's good. I love the band-aid print there. That's a really nice touch. And then her expressions. First of all, you get your classic uh, bicycle helmet mold, which looks just like the old ones basically, but it's got the, the hair coming out, which looks great. And then a really, really confident, aggressive uh, expression as well. Like she's about to go down a really steep and rough looking mountain. Very, very cool. It's not easy to display this character like with the with the black like display stand and her and her mountain bike but you get this in blue which i don't think has come in blue yet not this particular mold for the bike and uh anyways looks good let's look at them all together all right now we're looking at all of the uh, 16 unique figures from series 19. top three are definitely the jungle explorer fright knight and monkey king those are my that's my final answer also i just wanted to show you these are the spare pieces that we got from, uh, from all the different guys. A few extras from Fright Night, a few extras from Monkey King, and that's that. Uh, let me know which ones are your favorites in the comments below. Generally speaking, I think it's a decent enough wave of a collectible series. And uh, thanks again to Minifigure Madness for sending over this complete set to us. Remember, links in the description below if you want to pick up a full box sealed on your own with the promo code BRICKVAULT. All right, it's all in the description below. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time at BRICKVAULT. Yeah.